Hey guys, Rob Avis here. I'm in my garage right now and I'm right beside my latest project, which is my solar barbecue. So last year I bought this solar barbecue, which is just an evacuated tube collector um, from a company called GoSun. Let's see if I can flip it out here. There we go, I'm already prototyping it and there's already a problem with the system that I built, so I'm going to have to modify this. Let's see if I can get it to go. Nope. So I'm going to just pull this out so you can see it. So this guy opens up and there's an evacuated tube in here. I've done a video on this already and I'll leave a link to it in the cards above if you want to see this thing. And so basically this heats up really hot. There's a, an evacuated tube. There's a little slide on the end, which I'll show you. As you can see, it's not done yet. Let's just pull it out. That's going to be easier. So there's a slide on the end. This thing slides out right here. And then little bread pans sit inside there so that it can cook. And there's also a thermostat on the end. Um, and let's just see if I can get this to open up here without dropping it and breaking it. There we go. Okay. So that's the solar oven. And so this collector basically faces the sun. And there's a little aiming device right here, um, if you can see it, and this allows you to track it kind of as, it, as the sun moves from east to west, as well as as it moves kind of to different elevations in the sky as well. So the thing is, is that this barbecue is fairly heavy and it's a pain in the butt to constantly have to come out and move it around all the time and reposition it and find the right table and all that stuff. And so what I did, was I found a barbecue on Kijiji, which is what you're looking at right here, for free. And I basically have cut all the guts out of it. You can see that I've cut out this little hole right here. Let me reposition the camera. So I've cut this little hole out right here, which is where the tray is gonna pull out so that I can get access to the food. And it turns out that my solar cooker fits perfectly inside the barbecue when it's closed. Now one of the advantages of this is that the barbecue has wheels on the bottom with locks on it. And so I can position the barbecue really easily throughout the day as I need to refocus it um, to make sure that I'm getting optimal sun. And then when I'm done with it, I can close the lid, it fits perfectly inside, I can roll this inside the garage so that nobody's going to take it, and it's ready for cooking. Now, there's one additional thing on this barbecue that I should show you here. So, because we do a lot of pressure canning in the house, um, I can't stand pressure canning in the house. It's noisy, it's steamy, it's just not a pleasant experience. And so I wanted to, and I have wanted to for a long time, get a, an outdoor pressure canning system. And so that's what we have with this guy right here. So this barbecue has a grill on it, which our pressure canner is gonna sit perfectly on top of. And we're gonna be able to fire this up. So yes, we're gonna use some propane for this, but, um, you know, not a ton. We're going to try and do a lot more solar cooking this summer. And so then we can do our one hour kind of pressure can on here outside without having to worry about the steam and the noise. And then when we're done, we close this back down again. It creates an, a little table for our food prep, for our solar uh, cooker. And there you go. And so that's how I'm taking this solar cooker right here and making it into a much more usable cooking system that we can use. And what I've found with anything solar is that you have to make it simple. You've got to make it usable and user friendly so that you can use it almost as easily as you can uh, something that you'd normally use inside of your house. So stay tuned guys, I'm going to keep building this and once it's done I'll do a whole review video on my DIY solar cooker station that we're going to have outside our house here very soon. Okay, see you guys in the next video.